Hey guys, welcome to the shop today. Uh, today we're working on my uh, 79 Buick Regal. We're going to try dumping some weight off of it this year for the race season coming up in 2020. Um, we're going to start by taking out the steering column. I think I can build something that's a lot lighter than what's in there. Uh, I've heard guys getting about 20 pounds, do 20 pound loss out of their uh, getting rid of their steering column. So we're going to try to tear that down to get that out of here and uh, look at other ways we can lose some weight for this season. We're also doing some gear changes. Uh, we're going to 355 gears for uh, for a better starting line ratio. I'll also give you a little bit of a walk around of the car. Um, like I said, it's a 79 Buick Regal. It's got a 488 cubic inch big block Oldsmobile in it. Um, yeah, it's been, uh, so for around here, it's kind of the only Oldsmobile you see at the track. So uh, let's see if we can lose some weight off of this car. Let's take a walk. Okay guys, sorry for the messy shop. This is my 79 Buick Regal. We'll do a quick little walk around here and kind of show you what we're dealing with. Sorry for how cluttered the shop is. I've got a small space to work with here. This is my 488 Big Block Oldsmobile. Uh, she made about uh, five, 550, 600 horsepower at the flywheel. Uh, we got her on the bottle. We got nitrous on it sitting right there best passenger you can have and that's the steering column we're gonna try getting out of here all factory tilt steering we really don't need it uh, it's tilt has been nice to get it in and out of the car get me in and out of the car but uh, I think we can do with the weight loss we're also gonna tackle uh, some of these sheets back here the floors that's all at a heavier gauge uh, sheet metal. It really doesn't have to be. I think we're going to change that to aluminum. I built a built a simple little bead roller for that. And we'll see uh, see if I can make some uh, nice panels to uh, use instead of uh, the steel that's in the back. But anyways, uh, let's uh, let's see if we can tear the steering column out. We'll have to get rid of the rag joint down there, and uh, there'll be some bolts on the firewall that we need to take out. And then there's, I think, three or four bolts holding up underneath underneath the steering column. Then that thing should drop out and get taken out. So uh, I'm going to set the camera up, and uh, we'll uh, see how far we can get with tearing this out for you today. Okay guys, so I got it out. 
It's actually uh, heavier than I thought it was going to be, so this might be a good start uh, to our weight loss. Uh, let's check it out here. There she is. Kind of a big unit. Game plan is to, uh, I'm thinking I'm going to use, uh, I have some of these old heim joints kicking around. I uh, might use that as kind of my main pivot under the dash to hold my rod and then do a U-joint down to the uh, rest of the shaft. I do want to get rid of this rag joint, um, especially drag racing. This It's really sloppy and this one's starting to get a little worn out. Uh, and I'm going to replace this whole shaft probably. Um, I think there's a Jeep Jeep Cherokee, uh, 94 and under. Uh, they have a nice shaft that fits both on the steering box and uh, have a three-quarter inch uh, hole or a three-quarter inch uh, female end that fits to a shaft here. So I might be able to get rid of this, uh, this piece entirely. I might strip this down, see if there's anything in here I can use. I don't think there will be much. But uh, yeah, so we're going to start building our own... Uh, our own steering shaft. All right, guys, we got this out now. Uh, we're gonna try uh, building our own uh, our own steering column now. That this is out. Uh, like I showed you before, I'm also gonna try to replace some of the sheet metal in the back half. Try to light, lighten up the back end a little bit more. Um, yeah. So if you have any ideas, or uh, if you uh, think I'm going the wrong way about this, uh, feel free to leave me a comment. Um, yeah, and if you're liking what you're seeing so far, please subscribe, and uh, there'll be a lot more coming back from me. So, um, yeah, so stay tuned for more. Uh, we'll keep you updated as we progress, and, uh, yeah, subscribe. See you.